Good morning. So those little things that look like temperature gauges are outside of every hotel room that we've been at so far. So I had to find out what it was, and it's called the mezusa. Mezusa. I think that's right. Anyway, what I found out was inside there is Deuteronomy 6.4, and somebody hand scribes this, puts it in there, like you can't photocopy it, it has to be written, puts it in there, and then puts it on every doorpost. And the reason is, is Deuteronomy 6.4 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, right outside our hotel on the door. That part's not in here. <laughs> <laughs> These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts, impress them on your children, talk about them when you sit at home, and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands, bind them on your foreheads, and write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. So what I found out was not only are they on the hotel rooms, they're in everyone's home, in every room, except the bathroom, apparently. So I thought that was pretty cool. All the hotels here in Israel. We're on day three. Thanks for taking this journey with us. And let's go walk where Jesus walked. <laughs> looking at several layers of excavation that's happening here because they would build on top of each other in the generations and this spaceship looking thing was built right over the top of what is Peter and Andrew's home and inside there is the place where Jesus ended up being there when they tried to lower the person down inside when he needed to be healed just a lot of cool stuff <laughs> and the spaceship is actually a church and you can look down and inside there, down into the home. But it wasn't open when we got there. This next section is us traveling down. And you have at one side the Dead Sea. And then on the other side is where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. In those caves that you're looking at right there. After that we ended up in Engedi. And this is an amazing place on so many levels. The animal life for sure. But it was also the place where David fled from Saul. In here, you also see many caves in which could be the very cave where Saul went to relieve himself. And David snuck in 
and cut off a piece of the robe. Somewhere in this area is exactly where all that happened.